Okay, so what I'd like to do today with this video is go through this assignment and make sure we understand exactly how we want to be phrasing our answers when it explain when we explain how we know what technique is being used. It's also important that you look at the other video that goes over the formulas and you understand how to piece these together. So uh, we kind of went through uh, this example uh, last class and we talked about hyperbole. Um, again, hyperbole, what we want to try and do is explain what's being exaggerated and even consider why. So for example, uh, we take a walk, the sun is shining down, burns my feet as they touch the ground. What technique, technique is being used? Hyperbole, the speaker is exaggerating how hot the sun has made the ground. Okay, so uh, the, other, the other thing that we might consider uh, is why. Um, and again, maybe they're just trying to exaggerate or make a point that it's really hot outside. Um, number two, it's been a hard day's night and I've been working like a dog. We said this was a simile. So again, when it's a comparison, either a simile or a metaphor, we want to, we want to write down um, what is being compared to what using what. So the way I or the way the speaker is working is compared to using, uh, is, is compared to a dog using the keyword like. Okay. Um, number two, we gave you this one. Um, happiness is a warm gun. So again, as I go through this, first thing I ask myself is, okay, is anything being exaggerated? No. Is anything being given a human ability? No. So that means it's going to be either a simile or a metaphor. Okay. Simile would mean that it uses like or as. I don't see like or as in there, but I do see a form of the verb be, which is is. So happiness is compared to a warm gun using a form of the verb be is, or happiness is compared to a warm gun using the key word is. So that's how we would want to phrase our answer for that one. Okay. Um, okay. So let's go through some of these. Um, number three, I ain't got nothing but love, babe, eight days a week. Okay. So again, uh, for my first choice is simile. Uh, I do not see like or as can't be a simile. Uh, metaphor. Uh, is anything, is anything being compared? Do I see a form of the verb be? Uh, no, I do not see a form of the verb be. Nothing is being uh, compared. Is anything being given a human ability? So as I look through this, I ain't got nothing but love, babe, eight days a week. Nothing is being uh, given uh, anything that makes it seem realistic or human. So that would leave hyperbole. So what technique is being uh, used is hyperbole. Now, how do we explain that? Again, we want to explain um, what's being exaggerated. So the speaker, that's really hard to see. Let's try that again. Um, the speaker is exaggerating what they have. Okay. They are saying they only have love. Okay. If you also think about it, what's also being exaggerated is the um, the number of days in a week is being is being exaggerated to show how much the speaker loves whoever they are talking to okay all right so again hyperbole and this is how you want to phrase it what's being exaggerated and why okay uh, number four Friday night arrives without a staircase Okay. Nothing's being compared. We don't see like or as. We do not see a form of the verb be. Um, is anything being exaggerated? Friday night arrives without a stair without a suitcase. Um, no real exaggeration, but we do see that Friday is given the ability to arrive, which would make it personification. Okay. So how do we know? How do we explain this? Okay. What object? So Friday. is given the human ability to arrive or travel. So what non-living object is given what human ability? So what non-human object is given what human ability or quality? Okay. Uh, number five, thoughts meander like a restless wind inside a letterbox. So, First of all, is anything being compared? 
Um, well, I do see the word like. So let's look at this. Thoughts meander like a restless wind inside a letterbox. So we actually have, uh, right off of the bat here, we have an example of a simile. When it's a comparison, when it's a simile, we want to explain what's being compared to what using what. So thoughts meandering, right, is compared to a wind in a letterbox. letterbox. And again, here's the key part, using the key word like. So we need to make sure we always put down the keyword, right? Um, the keyword is very important. So what thoughts is compared to what a wind in a letterbox using what the keyword like. Okay. All right. Number six, I look at the floor and I see it needs sweeping. Still my guitar gently weeps. So do I see any comparisons? Do I see like or as? Do I see uh, a form of the verb be was, is, are? No, I do not. Is anything being given a human ability? So I look at the floor and I see it needs sweeping. Still my guitar gently weeps. So if you look at this, we see that the guitar is being given the human ability to cry. So again, we have personification. So um, the guitar is given the human ability to cry. So what non-living object is given what human ability. Okay, good. All right. The long and winding road that leads to your door will never disappear. This is a tricky one, but it's actually kind of easy um, when you look at a couple key words in it. So first of all, simile or metaphor, like or as, form of the verb be, nope. Uh, personification, the long and winding road that leads to your door will never disappear. So is anything given human ability. Now, I understand that some of us might have had personification here, and we might say that the long and winding road is given the human ability to lead. Um, technically, leading um, is not necessarily just a human thing, because roads do lead places, right? Um, signs lead us to destinations. So um, leading is not just a human thing. But we do see that the door, the winding road, will never disappear. So here's the key words, will never. So this is a hyperbole, okay? So first of all, let's think about what's being exaggerated, right? So the, the long and winding road that leads to your door will never disappear. So what's being exaggerated? The length of the road is being exaggerated, okay? Now, a thing that we want to consider is why. So why is this exaggeration, right? Um, so the length of the road is being exaggerated to show how far the speaker is willing to go to get, sorry, get to the person they are talking about or talking to. Okay, so if we look at this, the long and winding road that leads to your door uh, will never disappear. So what they're really kind of saying is that the long and winding road that leads the speaker to whoever this person is, is always going to be there, right? It's far, um, but they're willing to take that risk to get to the door. So that's a really tough one. That's a difficult one. But technically, this is hyperbole because um, other, other things like signs and roads do lead us places. Okay, number eight. The clouds will be a daisy chain. So again, simile, like or as, no, I don't see it. Do I see a form of the verb be? Well, hold on a minute. Yes, I do. If I look here, I see will be. So the future tense of the verb be. The clouds will be a daisy chain. So the clouds are being compared to a daisy chain. This is a metaphor. All right. So clouds are compared to a daisy chain, can't spell daisy, using the key words will be. It's important to put down will be because that's the future tense of it. So this is a comparison. Clouds are being compared to daisy chains. Okay. All right. Number nine, tomorrow never knows. Is anything being compared? 
Don't see like or as. Don't see a form of the verb be. I do, however, see tomorrow being given an ability to know something. So this is personification. Again, I want to explain what non-living object, in this case, uh, tomorrow, okay, tomorrow is given the human ability to know or have knowledge. Okay, so again, what non-living thing is given what ability? Make sense? So again, that's how we would answer for personification. Okay, a couple more left. Um, all you need is love. Simile or metaphor, like or as, form of the verb be. There is is. Um, so let's see if there's a comparison here. Um, all you need is love. So is you and what they need being compared to anything? No. They're making a statement. Personification, is anything given to human ability? All you need is love. No. This is hyperbole. Okay. Okay. What is being exaggerated? So what the speaker needs or says we need is being exaggerated. Why? To express or um, highlight how they feel about love and the value of love. If you think about it, we need more than just love. We need air water, food, place to live, right? We need fire to stay warm. So we don't need just love. We need more than love. So this is a hyperbole. This is an exaggeration. Limitless, undying love, which shines around me like a million stars. Now, I'm going to give you a clue. There's a, This is actually two of them. First is a simile. I'm hoping that you saw the, uh, the word like, okay? So... Uh, what's being compared to what? Okay, so um, the love or the undying love is compared to a million suns using the keyword like. Okay, now if you think about it too, this is also. It's not just a simile, it's also personification. Okay. The reason why it's personification, if we look here, is that love is given the human ability to die. Does that make sense? So again, we want to make sure that we understand that love is also being given a human um, ability. Now, I have had some, some people say that they also think this is hyperbole, because the amount of love, the limitless love, is also being exaggerated. I actually would agree with that. That definitely could work, and I would have no problem if anybody had that for an answer. Okay? And then last one, number 12, for me, absolutely the hardest one. Uh, Julia, her hair of floating sky is shimmering. Okay? What technique is being used? Is it a simile? No. No like or as. Is it a metaphor? We do see is. Is it personification? So is her is her hair, for example, being given any kind of human ability? No, because humans um, uh, humans don't shimmer. Um, is it hyperbole? Is anything being exaggerated? No. Okay. So this is a tough one. Okay. The correct answer is metaphor. Okay. And the reason why it's a metaphor is that um, Julia's hair is being um, described or compared to a to a floating sky okay so even though it doesn't say uh, Julia's hair is a is, is a floating sky um, it is still comparing it to a floating sky and this is what we would call actually would be called an implied metaphor so it's not directly stated okay so again go back over these and look at these before you stop this video and then last but not least, what musical group uses the lyrics for this assignment? The correct answer is, drum roll. That was very anticlimactic. So again, if you have never listened to the Beatles, check them out. They are pretty much responsible for every type of rock and roll music. Look these over and use this assignment to help you with your uh, worksheet number one.